Hey there, if you're having problems getting your installed plugins into FL Suite, I'm going to show you the easiest ways to get around that problem. If you're new, you know what to do, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. So there are a couple of ways you can get your plugins into FL Studio, all right? The first way is simply come into plugin database, all right? Or yours may have a three icon right here that you see something like a socket right here. You can click that socket icon and then you, you see a plugin database. You can right click it then you simply click refresh plugin list all right it's going to take some time to scan then be patient all right you can see it's done scanning all right so when you, you click installed and under installed okay effects are the um processes like what you use on your mixer for mixing okay and the generators are the sounds are the plugins that bring out sound that is your vsts okay so when i come to effects you, they can be categorized under VSTs, VST3, all right? So and if you have a new plugin, sometimes you may even show a folder called new, okay? Same thing to generators. Let's say I want to add, let's say I want to add lounge, lounge list. I don't have to just, first of all, if I add it up, make sure that it's working. I'm going to drag it and drop in here. Okay, it's working. I'm going to right click and then add to plugin database, okay? So it's going to be added to my plugin database. So when I come right here, right click, insert, I'm going to see lounge lizard. And if I or if I click this, I'm going to CC Lounge Lizard. All right. So if maybe the method I just showed you didn't work, probably because the directory is not recognized by FL Studio, and that's really easy to get around. All you have to do is add that directory that you installed it into to FL Studio's plugin directory, and that's really easy. All you have to do is come to Options. All right. Then come to Manage Plugins. It's going to bring this window up. Okay. So you're going to come right here. Then you're going to add a folder. You see this plus icon right here. It means you're going to add whichever directory. If maybe you have your your plugin saved on an external hard drive, like you store it on an external hard drive, or any folder really that is not a part of this um, VST plugins or um, Steinberg VST, like you can see right here, you can just add any of the folders. Maybe you have it somewhere in your Windows drive, all right? I can come right here, maybe look for somewhere that is located, and then for some, maybe Steinberg, for example. All right, then I press OK, and you can see I've added Steinberg as a folder. All right, now when I do when I do this and I close and I close this and I refresh, it's going to and I try it again. Plugin database, it's going to reread that new folder that I just added. So this is an easy way for you to find plugins. So maybe just make sure you remember the directory you installed your plugins into. If you can remember, re reinstall the plugins again, and then you get to see the directory in the installation menu because different plugins have different installation format so there's no one trick for it but what they have in common is that they show you their installation directory where they ask you where do you want to save this plugin into if you found this helpful follow me for more tips and tricks i remember classy cheers